back. We'll be right back with Alice Eve, everybody. Alice Eve. See you again. You are indeed a shimmering beacon of beauty this evening, may I say? <laughs> Thank you very you much. You look very, very nice. Buried alive? Yes, buried alive. Yeah. Who would do that? <laughs> a very bad man, Craig. You wouldn't know anything about it. <laughs> I think you'd be surprised. <laughs> Although I wouldn't bury you alive. No, it's a horrific thing. It's about Poe, the film, and you know... Edgar Allan Poe? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And in his stories, he had a very horrific imagination, and he wrote, um, as we know, A Telltale Heart. Yes. And in that, he chops a man up and buries him alive. Yeah, yeah, but you can hear the... Actually, he wouldn't be alive, but yeah, you can hear the heart, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was translated into the French by Baudelaire. I liked Baudelaire. That's you ever read Baudelaire? That's a great fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, it's true. Mouth, yeah. Baudelaire was crazy, crazy alcoholic Frenchman. Just the type of writer I like. <laughs> Poe was a crazy alcoholic American. Yes, he was, that's true, yeah. They never met, though, I don't think. No, um, I think they were a little bit apart, wasn't Baudelaire the 1850s? Yes, probably would. Ugh. Maybe Poe was dead. I feel such a fool now. Poe went to the White House drunk. Did he really? Yeah. He wasn't the first one. <laughs> you, you studied uh, literature at Oxford, didn't you? I did. Yeah. Did you study American literature? No. The course doesn't really have um, any French or American or foreign literature in it. So it's all just, things were terribly rummy and then something rather chipper happened. It's all... <laughs> the course is a bit too English. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Did you ever read any P.G. Woodhouse? I'm really into Woodhouse right now. Are you? I am. I don't know why. I've, I think it's Downton Abbey's got me onto it again. What do you... Oh, Downton Abbey. Yes, I, 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 I've been... Do you watch Downton Abbey? Um, do you watch Downton Abbey? Do you watch Downton Abbey? <laughs> Do you identify with downstairs people in Downton Abbey or servants or upstairs who are rather terribly posh? Uh, I don't watch it, but I've been both upstairs and downstairs. <laughs> I didn't mean that. Yes, that wasn't I don't. Fair. What do you mean it wasn't fair? You did exactly, you did oh, mean that. the mugging. No, it wasn't I fair. Didn't, I didn't mug, I, I just did that. I've both, in fact, um, I've both done my laundry and dined at high table, but I hear that you have 50 quarters here. Oh, yes, 50 yes, 50 dollars in quarters, quarters, which would make it Oxford 200 quarters. Okay, sorry. But what's fantastic about that is I do my laundry and I need quarters. You do your own laundry now? Do you go to the laundromat looking like that? That's what I mean. Because you could go to the laundromat dressed like that and someone, maybe me, would do your laundry for you. I'd be there, I'd be like, I'll do your laundry, miss. I don't go... I like... I'll, I'll fix your smalls, I'll get your particulars. I like it. He's shameless. I like I'll, that I'll put a bit of fabric over. softener in for I like you. That... Yes, <laughs> that's what I do. <laughs> no, all right. Well, do you, uh, you want to go for the big cash prize already? Like you come out here, you plug your movie, and straight yeah, to the cash want, prize. I just came for you the only money. came for the fifty bucks. I heard. I heard you stopped giving singles and you'd started giving quarters, and I asked to come back. <laughs> You know, most places would... If you go into a 7-Eleven dressed like that, they'll make change for you. <laughs> yeah, you'd be make all right. Change. Were you buried alive in that clip? Would they actually bury you alive? Yeah, they did. They put me in the coffin and they had, you know, machines... I can't remember... Drills. Oh, yes. And, um, you know, they drilled around my head and put the lid on. And I took my first breath, because I prepared myself mentally for being buried alive. And then I took my first... How do you do that? Just say to yourself... I'm going to be buried alive a okay, lot of right. times. <laughs> and then eventually you become familiar with the idea and, and you sort of go through with it. Is it kind of a yoga thing? <laughs> I, I don't love yoga, but it is um, a mantra type thing. Okay, okay. Anyway, I took my first breath mm. and just to calm myself. And all the oxygen went out of the coffin. So when I went for my second breath, there wasn't any left. There was just carbon dioxide. Holy crackers. I know, that's what I did. And then I wept. 
and then they sort of opened the lid and they were like, what's wrong? And I was like, I can't breathe in here. And, um, and then I sipped the air and then we did it again and they filmed it. So they, they weren't filming the first time? <laughs> Like they just go, well, we'll just bury you alive a bit in practice. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. That's a complete waste of burying alive time. <laughs> you want to film it just in case it goes wrong, you know. Then at least you have the take. Yes, then at least you have the take. Mm. You should speak to them. I should. Is it Cusack I have to talk to? <laughs> no, he's not the director. He's an actor. How does it work? I thought the actor did that. Yeah. No, the no? actor's in the movie, oh. and then there's a director, James McTeague, who makes McTeague. every... McTeague? <laughs> yeah, McTeague. My sworn enemy, McTeague. <laughs> he's an Australian. He's an Australian? <laughs> I knew that. Hey, we're out of time. Uh, yeah, look, I got distracted. Like you wouldn't. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, cash, cash prize? Let's do that. What time is it, Shadow Steve? It's time for the big cash prize. All right. $50 in American quarters. All you have to do is either answer a question or guess what's in my box. Here's how that works. I imagine a box in my head, but I don't know what's in it. Only Jeff knows what's in it. Uh, if you guess correctly, you win the $50. If you don't, you, uh, something awful will happen. Is the box in your head a coffin? Well, uh, hold on. Why? Is that what you want? Box in the head? You want a box in your... No, I don't want you to box me in the head. I said, is that what you, Do you want the question or box in my head? Well, I just already did that. Is the box in your head a coffin? Well, you don't guess what the box in my head is. You guess what's in the box in my head. Me! $50! Please welcome the spectacular Alice Eve, everybody. Alice Eve. Lovely. Look at you with your lovely dress. Thank you That's very a very much. nice piece of uh, clothing thank you, you have there. How are you? You good? Very well, thank you. Good. I saw you on the Entourage. I watched that show. Did you? The Entourage? Yes, I watched the Entourage with the, all these lovely... <laughs> the boys. Yes, yes, they're all quite small. Um, you can't comment on that, no. but I've noticed that they are. Yes. Whenever they're all together, I want to just, you know, give them Cuddle a hug. Them. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah they are lovely. You know, but you're playing someone who's very tough and... I know, I hadn't seen that actually. It's a little... Are you not aware of what you're doing while you're acting? No. That's what makes you so good. You jump and then you kind of come to the surface. But I hadn't seen it. It's always weird watching yourself. You don't watch yourself on TV? No, I don't like to. Sometimes you have to to correct it and to know what you're doing. And it's no. not nice. Do you like watching yourself? No, I don't watch this crap. No. I, I've got cable. I don't watch this. Ooh la la! I'm kidding. I don't have cable. I, uh... So, uh, you're living here now, then? You've made your home in Los Angeles? Yes, I still have... I still have my family in London, but yes, I right. do. I mean, yeah. By your family, you mean, uh, what, four or five children five working children. up chimneys? My two uh, husbands. Two husbands? Yeah. That's... Polygamy, I believe in it, much like Gaddafi. <laughs> Oh, no, it's all right. You can say anything you like about Gaddafi. Yeah. Uh, Where did yeah. he go? I, I don't know. I think he's probably... If I was Condoleezza Rice, though, I'd be checking under the car and stuff and tell... Yeah, that was a weird fact. Yeah, that's a weird that's one, isn't weird. it? That's yeah. weird, yeah, if that's true. Do I you think... have any weird stalker fans who are also dictators of uh, African countries? No. Do you have any weird stalker fans? I hope not, no. Anybody ever sent you some anthrax, for example? No, that's heavy. But I hear you snorted it. I did, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. How was that for you? That wasn't that good. Like the old days? Uh, no, no, I... No, in the old days I had no idea what it was when right. I was snorting it. I knew what it was then. You've never been involved in heavy drug use, have you? Never. Oh, dear. I had parents. I had parents too. <laughs> I just didn't invite them to the club, that's all. I did. Oh, you did? Well, Sometimes my mom goes out with me. Yeah. I've met your mom and your dad. Yeah. Yeah, I met them actually back in the day. Because I used to go to this club and they used to uh, come in sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> No, I no, I um, I used to eat at this restaurant in London, and uh, your mom was a friend of my friend uh, Anthony Head. Oh yes, of course. Right, right, and so I. That's how I. Um, but you must have been like ten years old then. Yeah, uh, yeah. They would never bring you to a club at that point. No, not okay. a club, a restaurant. Really? Yeah, I used to I sleep in the restaurant. Really? You yeah. would go to restaurants as a child? Yeah. <laughs> 
Must be alright for some. Remember the first time I went to first time I went to a restaurant I was sixteen. Really? Yeah. yeah. McDonald's? <laughs> they were the neighbouring clan, yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, no. So your family back there, but you've decided to. Uh, do you have a dog I feel, yet? Is it, no. You no. get a brown uh, lab. That's what. That's so, all the celebrities. So are you doing. you did your German thing again tonight? What German thing? Don't let's be beastly to, to the, the Germans. The Germans. Yes, I know we mustn't be beastly to the Germans. No. <laughs> Who was that? It was Noel Coward, wasn't it? It was. And yeah. last time we said it was Monty Python, but it was actually. No, it was uh, it was Noel Coward. Yeah, well who, who was saying that song? Let's not be beastly to the Germans. Yeah. Noel Coward also said, do you know the actor Edward Woodward? Oh yes, I do. Yeah. He, Noel Coward said Edward Woodward's name sounded like a fart in the bath. <laughs> <laughs> Edward Woodward. Edward Woodward. Yeah. It's a good expression. It was Noel Coward! It's, it's not me, it was Noel Coward! Do you, do you, uh, do you follow the work of Noel Coward? Even um, though he's been dead for about 20, 30, maybe 50 years. Um, he was brilliant. He was, very good, yeah. But how does one follow the work of Noel Coward? Well, you just go back and look at all his old films I've and done plays that, and stuff. Seen you, you've seen the he, plays, yeah? You've yeah. been in any plays, yeah? In any of his plays? Yeah. No. But I have been in some plays, but not his plays. Well, what plays have you been in, then? I was in a play called Rock and Roll. I don't like that one. Okay. <laughs> What's that play then, rock and roll? Tom Stoppard play. Oh, he's pretty clever, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, he's yeah, I know, there is that, yeah. Didn't he write Shakespeare in Love? He did. Yeah. And he won an Oscar for it. Oh, he did, yeah, yeah, bastard. <laughs> I met him once, you know, Tom Stoppard. Did you? Yeah. He, he's very tall, isn't he? He is, and it, actually I was walking out of a house, a sort of area, and uh, he was walking in and I held the door open for him and he said, Oh, thanks. Thank you. Because he's, sort of che he's got that Czech accent. I didn't, I wasn't able to tell from one word. No. No, it was just, he said, thanks, and off he went. It right. could have been, he might not even have English as his first language. He doesn't. He really doesn't? No. And yet he writes these plays? Isn't it wonderful? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Have you met Jeff? Was he here last time when you were here? Yeah, but he wasn't as good. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and, yes, and, yes, and, yes, and. Yes, and, yes. What do you mean, mama? I mean, mama. <laughs> it's very weird, uh, Jeff. Yeah, it's very weird. Yeah, that's very weird, Jeff. I mean, Jeff, uh, you're gay. <laughs> yeah, not today, gay. I'm not. What? You can't pick and choose like. Well, I suppose you can, yes, you actually. Can. Yeah, yeah, you can. It's no, a I free feel bad. country. It is a free country. You're absolutely right. Well done, Alice, for reminding us that it's a free country. <laughs> Would you ever think of uh, joining us here and becoming an American? I have a green card. Well, that doesn't make you an American. Um, it's a complicated one, really. Um, I, I, I love America. Yeah, but that's I, all right. You don't have to. Be, you don't have to. No, we're but I... are forcing you. You know, we, we've, we, you know, we're almost full up anyway. It's fine. <laughs> Okay. You're, you're very welcome to stay. You don't have to become an American. Well, that's decided it. Do that again. Okay. All right. I w but I, w I, 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 maybe I will. I, maybe I will. No, you, you don't have to. It's fine. Okay. I Me. Mean, I mean, you can if you want. Yes. And. Very good. Yeah. Did you ever take an improv class? No, but I know that rule. Well, that's the only rule I know, and apparently... It's the only rule there is, really. Well, yes, Anne? Yeah, don't stop it. Don't stop Don't stop, stop that, but you can stop the flow, and it still works. Okay. No. <laughs> Hence the awkward Hence pause. the awkward pause. The awkward pause. pause, which is the deconstruction of the lame idea that improv can only be done with yes, and. But don't... Which it can always be done with yes, and. It can sometimes be done with just a look or a gesture or a smell my finger. Shall we prove it? Right, I will. Yes, and? No, we're not doing yes, and. <laughs> do you want to do the awkward pause now? I mean, it is about time. No, Actually, let, let's not do the awkward pause. You don't want to do the awkward pause? <laughs> it's so awkward. Well, what do you want to do then? I want to feel comfortable. <laughs> Yeah, come over here then. <laughs> hey, hey. My arms don't work, but I got a lot of spirit. <laughs> yeah. Man. I don't know. I don't think that's appropriate, Jeff. I know this young lady's parents. Yeah. 
I'm terribly sorry. Yeah, me too, actually. Um, well, uh, if you don't want to do an awkward pause, and I, you, you certainly... I want to be an American. You don't want to be an American. Um, no, well, you, do, know, you, love America. you love America. You love America. I, know, I, I live in worry, America. Yeah. Um, mouth organ? Okay. Okay. Here you are. <clears throat> okay. I'm nervous about this because I'm not. I, don't, I can't do this. Oh, I bet you can. <laughs> Just how creepy am I right now, Jerry? Yeah. Oh, come Barry. on. Barry! It was a joke! It was a joke! It's even more awkward than the awkward pause. Yes! Exactly! I told you, take the awkward pause. It's actually, paradoxically <laughs> and ironically, yes. not that awkward. awkward! Okay, yes, and? Right. Yes, and get the mouth come organ inside. and start blowing. <laughs> is a very beautiful actress. Uh, she stars in Sex in the City 2, which is in theatres on May the 27th. There's sex in it. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> I haven't seen it, but if there is sex in it, I am going to see it. <laughs> I'll make my decision based on this clip. A glorious wedding. Ah, it was. Now, I know a little girl who would just love to practice her cartwheels on the lawn. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Come to me, little pet. And you have yourselves a lovely morning. You too. Thanks, Erin. Yeah. Oh, so sweet. That's your nanny. <laughs> I wasn't going to see that movie, but I'm going to see it now. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> Please welcome Alice Eve, everybody. Alice Eve. Alice, take a weight off. How are you, my dear? I'm very well. How are you? I'm all right, actually. I'm a bit concerned about my trousers, more than I was before, but I... Everyone's concerned. I was concerned about your trousers. Why? I, I thought it was something you did, but apparently this is unusual for you to be kind of holding them like this. <laughs> I, I didn't think I was holding them like that. Well, your, your trousers are holding them like a bra would hold... Re really? Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> A bra, isn't it? Yeah, never, hey, come on now, hey! Uh, well, this looks like an interesting film, uh, I guess. I mean, it's Sex in the City. It has, right. it's, it has its, like, it speaks for itself. But right. You, you're not really Irish, though, I can tell. No, I'm not Irish. Where are you from? London. Hmm, that's nice. Yeah, I bet you wish you were from London, don't you? I used to live in London. I lived in London. Did for, you? Yeah, I did, yeah, yeah. I don't uh, you do a you. good RP. What, like, talking... Like so, me. Talking like you? Yeah. You yes, I can talk like you a little oh, bit. Oh, darling! Yeah. <laughs> yes, I can. And I'll tell Do you why. Because <laughs> I've been around a lot of young ladies who talk like you. Oh, have you really? Uh, yes, I have. Do you like <laughs> Wearing trousers much like these. So they work? No, oh, they work indeed. They're what we call in show business result wear. <laughs> Yeah, I like your gold shoes, by the way. I Are you very, I very like wealthy? I like Iron Man in this outfit. Uh, no, no, you red don't. Red and... Re <laughs> well, I'll take that as a compliment. It is. It's a great compliment. Robert Downey Jr. was here last week, and you look nothing like him, I'm uh, delighted to I, say. I saw that. It was great. What, with Robert? Yeah. Yeah, do you know him? No, but I watched he's, him. He's a weird guy. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, but that's all right. He's an actor. They're kind of weird. Yeah, they are weird, aren't they? Yes. I'm becoming weird, I think, as a result of being an actor. It's a weird making well, You weren't job. weird before? 
I was just a girl before. You've never been just a girl. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> No, I mean, does it make you weird being an actor? Why would it make you weird? I mean, you're weird. You do this. It's like when you present something, you know, you know, that's like your brand of like funny weird, you know, you're very, very funny. And weird? Yeah. <laughs> With bra type trousers? I don't know what to say about the trousers. Say nothing. Okay. It'll be our secret. Okay. But what, and what, how is your weirdness manifesting itself then? What's happening? What are you doing? Um, yesterday I drove to Ontario with my friend. Ontario? To... Ontario. Oh, I so miss Ontario. Ontario. Um, I did, I drove to Ontario to buy an old car. So I think, I think that's pretty risky for a girl who doesn't really know about cars. Well, what kind of a car was it? Well, it's got two doors, not four. It has... Still feeling pretty safe. Yeah. It has a hard top that you can take off it. Ooh. <laughs> it... What's the make of this car? Mercedes-Benz. Oh, Mercedes. Oh, German. German. Ah, that is weird. Yeah. Um, don't let's be ghastly to the Germans. Why not? They were ghastly to us. <laughs> Don't let's be, be beastly, beastly to, to the, the Germans. Yeah, what's that from again? Is it Monty Python? No, no, I think it's from Oh, What a Lovely War, I think. Uh, which was, don't I don't know, Mike will find out using computer power. It's a good song. Yeah. Um, Have you ever been to Germany? I'm buying this off a, the car off a German person. That doesn't qualify you as having visited the country. <laughs> You met I mean, a German person. I met doesn't a German mean, I, I mean, I've met Japanese people. I've never been to Japan by osmosis. I feel like I've been to Germany. Just I, by, he must be very German. If two, he, two German people. Two Germans. In Ontario. Really? That's how it starts. How did they get to Ontario? Oh, you don't want to know. <laughs> they march. <laughs> the, uh, now listen, tell me, so that means you're now living in L.A. then? You've given up living I, in London? Well, I haven't. I can't give up on London, but I live between the two. Right. I miss my, my family here in London. Right. What part of London you, do you live in? Notting, like, Labrick Grove, Notting Oh, Hill. that's very nice. Yeah. yeah, it is nice. Yeah, I used to live in Islington. Right. That's yeah. not, this is boring for everyone there. <laughs> so is the rest of the show. <laughs> you must remember, I really don't care. <laughs> it works. Yes. <laughs> So you live half of the year in London and half of the year here, and you have two cars there? Um, Mercedes. I, I, two, both Mercedes? I'm not remotely rich. I just have an old... Start to sound a little bit <laughs> I rich. Know. And these aren't my shoes. I'll have to give them back. To me? <laughs> um, yeah. I Why mean, do you have to give them back? You should keep them. I know. What, should we, should we do, what about that? Because you did a... Uh, you do plugs, don't you, for money? Sure. Do you? Yeah, you, said, you said in a show you, you were doing this for money. Yeah, I'm kind of a hooker. Right. <laughs> right. So what, what do you need? These. <laughs> Let me take care of this. Who made them for you? No one made them for me. Uh, Christian Laboutin made them, but look at, the, look at the sole. I can see that sole's all bust up there. Yeah. Look you probably don't want sparkle. those ones back then, Christian. <laughs> They're nice, though. I, they yeah, look, look nice on the, on the monitor. They don't look lovely. Don't let's be beastly to the Don't they? They sparkle. Yeah, no, they're good. I'm just watching the show. I'm, uh... <laughs> it's good. It looks good, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, yes, it does, young lady. I think I'm in love. Yeah, me too, Jeff. All right, we gotta go. Alice Eve, everybody. We'll be right back. It's a beautiful, talented actress. You can see her in Star Trek Into Darkness. In, into, into yeah, you darkness. do. You got the arms. Yeah. Like do you that. see Star Trek Into Darkness? Into, into Darkness. Yeah. It's on the DVD and the Blu rays. Take a look at this. 
What are you doing on that ship? I heard what you said. You made a mistake, and now you're doing everything you can to fix it. But Dad... I, I, I don't believe that the man who raised me is capable of destroying a ship full of innocent people. And if I'm wrong about that, then you're going to have to do it with me on board. The spectacular Alice Eve, everybody, Alice Eve. seen you in an age. How have you been? I've been very well. You thanks. look very nice. Thank you. Gorgeous, in I fact. I match the carpet and the mug. Well, uh, no, you look better than all that stuff. You look great. And the donkey. That's not a donkey. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's, a ho it's a horse, it's partially. Not, it's not a horse, though, is it, Craig? No, it's not a real horse. No. <laughs> it's a pretend horse. Donkey face. Just like this is a pretend show. This has all been put together so I could meet you because we're meant to be together. <laughs> You're in good. Star Trek now, which means you'll be followed by a lot of people who will say that to you. We were meant to be together, Alice. <laughs> Look, there you are. There it is. Yeah, that's, you're in that's it. That's actually not me, yeah. That's, no, that, that's not you? No, that's... I thought that was you. <laughs> Are you sure? Oui. Oui, bien sûr. Ah, fantastic. Ce n'est pas moi. Oui. <laughs> we were a bit worried, Alice, because you've always been such a lovely guest in the show. We were a bit worried that now you've become this enormous international megastar that you would have changed in some way. But I gave you the bell test. Monsieur. And? Ferguson. Yeah, you passed. You see, you continue <laughs> to honor the show. The I French have to say, that's a very distracting dress. Sorry. It's all right. Actually, the dress is fine. It's, it's, I'm just having a very hard time. Is that a tattoo? Yeah, I've got a, I've got a lot of them, yeah. Do you even, I've got a lot of tattoos. This goes all the way up round and whoa. You, yeah. <laughs> Go on, follow the snake. <laughs> Go on, Alice, down there. Go what on. What are you going to do? As a member of the non-tattooed community, I find tattoos fascinating. Really? Yeah. Are you interested in getting one? No. Really? Why? Why do you hate America? <laughs> <laughs> they, are, they are very uh, closely linked to America. A lot of Americans no. have them. I don't dislike them. I just don't know if I want one on myself. No, you probably... You're, I mean, you're pretty good as you are, I have to be honest. Uh, <laughs> I just would regret it, I think. Well, regret's part of life. I it is, it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, it's all right. Je ne regrette. Je ne regrette rien. There you go. No. Can I just ask you something? The next yeah. time you want the bell, just ask I'll bring it over. Don't lean over the desk. Because... I'm not... Don't get mad at me. I'm not trying to... I'm just saying that... I think it takes more than that to make me mad. But let's try it again and see if you can sing. Not need, as easy as it, it looks, no. is it? <laughs> Turns out this is a skill. Yeah, you can't have your fingers on it when you press that little bit in the middle. Yes, because the acoustics won't travel. Right, so you have to just pop the button and move. Right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it got the robot going. Hey, listen, uh, where have you been? What have you been up to? Where have you been this summer? I've been everywhere this summer. I, we, we obviously Star Trek... Um, That's what I was saying. You must have been all around the world. Yes, we it, right? did. We went to Mexico, Russia, Berlin, which was phenomenal. I've never been to Berlin. I'd like to go to Berlin. Have you been? No. You should go. It's I great. know. I, I hear you're fluent in German. We. Oui. <laughs> um, Berlin. Where else did we go? Moscow was intense. It had the worst I've traffic there. in four hours. Some people take four hours to get home from work. Really? In Moscow? Yeah, the traffic is unprecedented. I don't, I don't remember that. I just remember being a cold. It was very cold. And I, got a, and I had a fur hat. You bought one. They sell them on the street. They're sort of common, like sunglasses in Venice Beach. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, gotta, you must have bought a fur hat, though, surely. No, because fur's dubious, isn't it? It's not real fur! Oh, no, fake fur. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy a real fur hat. I would just ask the animal to politely sit in my head until... <laughs> until such time as it had enough and it could move along. 
of its own free will. You so you don't wear fur then? I don't know if animals have free will, do they? I think they do, do don't they? Do we even have free will? Oh gosh, I knew you were going to take me here. All right then. <laughs> I think so. I think there is such a thing as free will. But then again, I would think that if I had been predestined to think it, wouldn't I? Right. What do you think? Do you think we have free will? I think within the confines of our existence, we maybe have free will before we eventually die, which is sort of determined. I, I suppose there's moments. I think you, you sound to me like a Calvinist. Are you a Calvinist? No, I'm not. No, I'm not, because that's very Scottish. Well, Jean Covin was actually French, but... Uh, it, oui, yeah. bien sûr. Well, exactly. <laughs> I'm suspecting your French vocabulary is slightly <laughs> limited. Yes, it is a little limited. I stopped at 16. Right. Forgive me, I learned... No, I, anything, yeah. Um, <laughs> um, no, not Calvinist. Um, I, I wonder about free will, you know. I, I wonder about it. I don't know. I don't know either. Hmm. I mean, sort of... Well, but doesn't that prove in its own way that free will exists if you think about it? Yes, if you think about it, I suppose, if you question it. I mean, we have the choice to make tea in the morning or coffee, and I suppose that's free will. But I think it, it's limited. In what way is it limited? <laughs> well, there are certain things you can't determine, can't, aren't there? Well, yeah, there's chance, right. Yeah, but, there's that's, chance. but that's chance. That's not in your will, though. Like, your will, it, it, you, you make choices. It's the... The Kierkegaardian either-or conundrum, right? That any decision you make will have a percentage of regret attached to it. Will I get a tattoo? Will I not get a tattoo? Perhaps 80% uh, of the regret of getting a tattoo you would experience, but perhaps 80% of not getting the tattoo is the regret. Do you see where I'm going with this? I'm so. I, I, I'm so. So <coughs> what tattoo <coughs> should I get? I don't know if you should get a tattoo. No, I'm, I'm going to just... get one now after that. Well, I don't know. I mean, I just find in my life there are many things that I regret not doing. Not the things that I did do, That's I kind of, I think, oh, well, I, I probably shouldn't have done that, but ah, what are you going to do? Rarely, and move on, you know. Yeah. Rarely do you regret an action. It's inaction. That you right. Do. In fact, I think the audience here rused the day when they came to this. <laughs> Have you, ever rude, have you ever rude a day in particular, any day in particular? Not a day that has been something, as you say, part of my free will or, or something that I've had a part in deciding. The days that I rue are the days that, you know, bad things happen that were out of my control. Right, but that's not a, that's not a, a factor in whether there's free will or not. That's the no, universe exactly. and the that's chance the that exists within it. the universe and the chance that you're outside of, right. outside of you. So, no, you're right. Free will does exist because otherwise, yes. You're so, right. we, we agree then. <laughs> No, I think, I think you're right. I think we agree that free will exists. I think we agree that free will exists. Well, enjoy the product. Okay. Advertise free will. <laughs>
Yes. Because I think everyone would really like that. Okay. No, no, see, see, you know what you what did? Wonderfully. That, see, you ruined it there, you ruined it, you scared her. I, I, I will take this opportunity to exercise my free will. Ah, good I, for you. I will not twerk with the horse. Good. Because there's an 80% chance. Hey, 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 you're not at the prices, right? Shut up. <laughs> There's an 80% chance that I will, in fact, regret it. Right. So, let's have a fake argument. No. Why not? Because you come here looking like this and expect me to concentrate. That's why. I can't believe you would shout at a lady. Is this how you argue? <laughs> I can't, I can't believe that you would raise your voice. This, this isn't arguing. This is, this is passive-aggressive. No, this is this not... This is not an argument at all. Most communication that happens in the 21st century is passive-aggressive. Ho, ho, ho! <laughs> that's my... That, that's my... <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. You won that. Ho, oh, ho, ho. See, no, ho, yes. Ho, ho. One more time. <laughs> no, that's my trick. I turn to my person that supports me, who isn't there, and, I, and they agree with me. So when you right. say something, I look at them and go, oh, oh. Oh. and then I win, because two against one, and it's America and democracy. You didn't win. I didn't win? No, you didn't win. You, I, I'm not interested in winning an argument with Are we you. still having the fake argument? Maybe. I don't know. I'm just enjoying myself. <laughs> I think it's real now. Okay. You can win, then. Oh, boy. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. Else.